My name is Captain Ryan Lambert, uh, Buris, Louisiana. I've uh, been a chartered captain here for 31 years now. When I started guiding here, had standing cypress trees. Now there's no land and no trees. We're losing our habitat at such a phenomenal rate of loss right now. My name's Foster Crapel. Just south of me in Diamond, four miles south of me, all the houses were destroyed in Katrina. If we don't stop for the storm surge protection and rebuild those marshes, New Orleans could get hit again, and how many billions did that take? Let's take areas and let them be natural. Let's take areas and, and reintroduce the river to the marsh. If it costs us a little more money to keeping the river dredged, so be it. Because you know, if we don't do that, 50 to 100 years from now, none of this will be here. It's a very simple problem. The patient is over that levee. The doctor is over that levee. They're not a quarter mile apart. Sediment is great for the subsiding land. When we get the freshwater aquatics, that is so important because those aquatics knock the sediment down, help it not to go out into the Gulf. It'll keep it in the marsh, and it gives habitat for all the fisheries. Not only that, but when the waterfowl come in the fall, that's groceries. I think that with some effort and planning and engineering and the will of the folks, the people that live here and our state and federal government, we can restore our wetlands as well. A lot of people think it's gonna inundate the Barataria Basin with fresh water and roin the fishing and kill all the oyster reefs. What we all do know is our wetlands are disappearing at an alarming rate. And if we don't do something about it, then they'll all be gone. To think that we can rebuild this delta and estuary without reconnecting the river to the delta, I think is fool's play. People who tell me all oh, those things don't work, that's not true. I've seen it firsthand, they work. It's such an easy solution. It boggles my mind why we can't get this fixed.